I'm Yvette Rios, and tonight I'm throwing a little dinner party for some friends in honor of Earth Day. And it's all gonna be about reuse, so I'm coming to one of my favorite places for great secondhand finds, the Chelsea Goodwill. And what I love about the Goodwill is that any donations you give them and proceeds from any purchases go towards programs that help people with disabilities and other barriers to employment. So let's see what they have. you can't have a dinner party without wine, well, in my opinion, you can't. <laughs> I need some wine glasses, and I'm uh, looking at these right over here. I love these because they're all clear, so it'll kind of give it a unified look. But you know what, they're all different shapes and sizes, and that's great, because what I'm gonna do is make them all look similar with a different paint technique on each one. Perfect, got my six glasses. I always find what I need when I come to the Goodwill. So now I'm gonna take all this stuff back to the house and see what I can make of it. So I just got back from the Goodwill and I found some great wine glasses, but you know, they're mismatched. They're not all exactly the same. So I'm gonna show you guys a quick and easy painting technique that you can use to unify your secondhand glasses. You need some paints and I'm using um, Deco Art Gloss Enamel paints. These are great because they're perfect for glass and ceramics because what you do with these is you actually put them in the oven when you're done at 350 degrees for 30 minutes and it gives it a nice durable finish. And what I start with is I always start with a little bit of clip art. And I love these books. Um, they sell them at any bookstore, but they're full of clip art and they have a DVD or a CD in the back with all the images. So you can just pop them on your computer and make them any size you want. And if you don't have a book like this, just go online and look for clip art. What we're looking for is we're looking for images that have like a lot of kind of shape to them. You want something that you can kind of put some broad strokes to and make it look great. So I printed out these little pictures of coral, which I love. I roughly sized it to about four and a half inches. So I'm gonna take it and just kind of stick it into my glass. And then I'm gonna grab some tape. You can use painter's tape, you can use regular scotch tape. All we're doing is just putting a little bit of tape in there to make it stick. And you wanna kind of push it so that it's as close to the glass as possible. Before I paint, I actually need to clean my glass. So I'm using a paper towel and some rubbing alcohol. Chances are people have been handling it so it's a little bit oily and you wanna make sure you get rid of all of that oil before you uh, start painting on it. And uh, in this case, I want a pretty small paintbrush um, so I can get some details. And one of my tricks is I like to use an egg carton, an old egg carton to mix my paints in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with a little bit of yellow and I'll put some red in there too. You wanna make sure you mix the paint really, really well. So I'm gonna start at the base of my coral and I'm just gonna kind of follow the pattern of the coral. You don't need to go crazy making it just perfect. It kind of is, you know, it's like an impressionist painting. You give them the, the idea of coral, the impression of coral. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna let this dry and then I'm gonna mix up a little bit lighter of the paint. I'm just gonna take this same color and add a little bit of white to it. So I'm gonna just go back in and just kind of highlight the coral a little bit. So now once you've got your stencil, I mean essentially transferred, you can take your paper out and you've got the uh, impression of coral. Not bad, huh? Now to jazz up the base of this, I'm actually gonna paint the entire base of the glass. So I'm just gonna grab a larger brush and I'm gonna grab some of that first red color, mix it up, make sure it's nice and uh, wet, and then I'm just gonna paint it on like that. So the first coat's gonna be very translucent, so if you want that look, just do one coat and it'll show the brush strokes, but I kinda wanna keep it like a pretty deep red, so I'm gonna make sure to do a couple of coats. And now I just need to let it dry. Once you've got your coats on there, I'll show you what it looks like. So I've got a bunch that I finished right here. So you can see, you know, it is just like an imp the impression of coral. It's a very simple technique. Anybody can do it, but it really jazzes up your glasses and makes them look very, very hip, which we all love, right? <laughs> so for more great paint ideas, keep checking out decoart.com. And for some really clever ideas on how to reuse secondhand stuff, check out Goodwill on Twitter or on Facebook. Say goodbye, Baloo, say goodbye. She's a crafting dog. <laughs> See, bye.